Episode 3 Lab Talk. Let's dive right in. We're going to talk about cover 2 today. Um, you know, before I get into the, the scheme about cover 2 and where do we like to attack, I want to talk a little bit about it. Teams like to run cover 2. It's more so like a bend on break type defense. You know, offensively, if you're trying to attack that type of defense, um, you definitely got to be able to sustain drives. You got to be able to convert on third downs. Um, you definitely got to be able to score touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, vice versa on the opposite end, um, the opposing team, they run this type of defense um, to force you guys to try to make mistakes. Uh, they're trying to limit your guys' possessions maybe because they got an offense that's able to do that. Um, and they're trying to, you know, keep you guys to field goals when you guys get into the red zone. Um, I mentioned, you know, control the game because we're playing a team like Cal Poly, a team in our in our conference who, who runs this type of defense. Um, offensively, they have a triple option type scheme offensively. So they're able to, you know, try to control the game, try to limit your possessions, um, control the clock, um, and then defensively running this defense, they, um, they force you guys to try to make mistakes or, you know, try to force some things um, and kind of get out of rhythm. Uh, another team, you know, that we played against, I was, I was actually doing some research. Uh, back in my sophomore year, we we're playing the number one team in the nation, Iwu, uh, who plays this type of defense uh, because offensively they had a high power offense and there was, they were able to score any, anywhere on the field. Um, so I kind of wanted, you know, I said you got to sustain drives. I was actually doing, uh, like I said, some research and going over um, how that game kind of played out. We ended up losing uh, football battles, number one ranked Eastern Washington until the end, Falls 31-28. Uh, actually, you know, had to get stitches at the end of that game. I didn't, I wasn't able to finish it. Uh, we had a chance to win it at the end. I feel like if I was in, it would have been a different story, but that's besides the point. Um, I want to read a little, a little segment of the, of the story. It says um, the Hornets uh, immediately answered after they scored. Um, with a 16 play 65 yard drive so like I said you got to be able to sustain these drives you got to be able to you know convert on third down the next sentence is um, during the drive the team converted all four of its third down attempts so you know um, as a quarterback you got to you know stay in rhythm take the completions um, find your check down is a good play versus this coverage and you know kind of take what the defense gives you and don't force anything you know take care of the football um, so this is all really important with, uh, with attacking cover two type defense so now I'm gonna get into the details of it coming now so let's dissect cover two real quick you know uh, pre-snap the, the safeties usually line up around 12 to 14 yards off the hash um, they got half the field half, half. everyone else's responsibility is corner got the flats flats that's now within the linebacker core will got hook curl Sam got hook curl um, today we're going to talk about a Tampa 2 type coverage where the mic drops into the middle of the field and he has that area obviously there's different types of coverage uh, cover 2 2 man we're known as a quarterback uh, you got cover 7 where it's just pre-aligned Tampa 2 um, but today we're just going to keep it super simple and talk about this uh, this Tampa 2 drop coverage by the mic. Um, so this is everyone's responsibility. Uh, where do we like to attack? Where are the holes in this defense? Here are the holes uh, in Tampa 2 type coverage. Um, they like the hole shot, but I only like the hole shot two by two if you're into the boundary. Um, in the middle field is kind of a hard throw. Um, and obviously we, get, we try to attack the middle of the field. That's where that's where most of the holes are in the middle of the field, trying to find some crossing routes or people sitting in that zone. Um, finding your check down is a good play, going through your pro progression and, uh, and finding your check down. Like I said, you got to dink and dump maybe all the way downfield. Um, you got to take what the defense gives you based off uh, what you're calling offensively. Obviously, that's game plan throughout the week, how you're going to attack them. Um, right now, I'm going to go over some concepts that I like to uh, to run against this type of coverage offensively so you guys kind of get a feel of uh, of how I'm thinking and uh, where to go with the football.
Yeah. So if you see cover two, it's actually not a bad play to run the ball. You know, I'm always ready to sling it. So I got some concepts that I want to go over um, and keep it super simple. This is actually my favorite concept, uh, weak option. Um, the corner is going to force you, the receiver, to go outside. He's going to be looking in because he has to guard that flap. He, he's able to drop with that if nothing's coming into his flap. Obviously, we have a flat coming in, so he's going to sit on that. Um, if the receiver um, identifies this cover two, that's why it's super important for everybody to watch film, not just receivers. But if the receiver identifies, you know, the corner sits, he's also able to sit in that window. Um, so you read this concept first. Um, if you like this, like this flat right away, he sits in that window. The cornerback kind of widens with that receiver. Um, to force him outside, you just go ahead and take that right away. Um, if the cornerback kind of, you know, attacks that right off the jump, um, you're able to hit this whole shot. So be be prepared to, to throw it off three steps. If this free safety um, gets all the way over there, you're not super comfortable um, throwing that whole shot. This receiver is able to work the whole middle of the field. It's up to him to be able to find space. Like I said, there's going to be a mic dropper. The initial rule is to go under Sam over Mike. If the mic overruns it, this receiver could definitely just sit in that window. Um, that, like I said, it's super important for everybody to watch film, everyone to understand what's going, uh, what they're trying to do defensively. Because this is a big play if the receiver is able to identify the coverage and is able to find space and kind of just give me his chest. It's a super easy completion. If you're not comfortable with that, the mic is on him. Um, I have him also going high. That's also beside the point. Um, if you think the mic is a little bit slower, he's able to stay high in between the splitting safeties. And maybe you got a full-on touchdown shot over there. But like I said, don't force it. Um, ding and dump, you know, stay in rhythm. Uh, convert on third downs, all these things are super important. If you don't like that, come back to number three. He has a dropper in that window though. Um, if you don't like that, find your check down. Check down is a really good play. I remember we ran uh, actually against Iwu my sophomore year. We literally went all go, everyone all go, running back check down. And I was just told to give be patient, you know, let everyone kind of get their depth, defense get their depth, everyone running with all goes, and nobody was underneath on the check down route, so we'll just take that, um, we'll take the five to seven yards every single time, all the way downfield until, you know, they have, until they stop it, honestly. Um, so this is one concept I like to get to. Um, I'm also going to talk about one more that I scored a lot of touchdowns in, especially in the red zone, to, you know who, DC, yeah. Y'all got me reminiscing a little bit. You know, I have a story about this concept right here. Um, after that Ewu game where I hurt my hand, I ended up getting stitched up, like 14 stitches in my hand, and playing that next week, we just wrapped it up. Um, we were playing Cal Poly, who was ranked like top 10 in the nation at the time, um, uh, undefeated, and there was no way I was gonna miss that game. Uh, with this concept alone, uh, I ended up going Let's see, 31 for 38, 350 total yards and four touchdowns. And I'm gonna tell you why, because we game plan throughout the week that um, their corners, obviously they have the flat, so they're gonna take this hitch. But if I wasn't hitting that right away, uh, usually it's three step or three step hitch and throw to the hitch right away if it's open. If I wasn't throwing that right away, they would drop into this zone to take away those corner routes. Um, so honestly, throughout the week, we just kept on practicing a three-step hitch, hitch, maybe attack. They would drop, and I would take the, the hitch route late, and we just literally dinked and dumped um, all the way downfield. So. Um, that was a lot of fun, and uh, we ended up winning that game, so it was pretty cool, pretty cool experience. Uh, I think it was homecoming, you know. Um, it was lit, yes sir. So let's talk about this uh, this concept real quick. Um, obviously, corners have flats. Boom, boom. 
most teams take that away. That was just a, a special scenario. Uh, we'll go strong safety, free safety. If I ever saw too high, um, we had the option to tag the post. So if this is DeAndre, post tag, there's no way this Mike linebacker is dropping to him. DC is too good, too fast. So um, we hit that a ton. Uh, honestly, every single game, uh, this is like our go-to concept right here. If I didn't like it, it was post to check down. Find my running back. So that's some two by two concepts that I like that I got to uh, versus this type of coverage. Um, I'm gonna go over some three by ones right now. Get into one quick game uh, concept and then one like intermediate type concept. Um, obviously you don't wanna take too many shots in cover two unless they're presented. Um, so, you know, ding and dumb, but stay the course. Here's a, we call it Chase. Last year we called 96 in college, whatever you wanna call it. I know everybody runs this play. Uh, basically you're picking on the Sam linebacker. Like I said, um, starting with the corner, the corner's gonna force you to take outside release. This dude has the option to sit in this zone. The sign linebacker widens with that also and kind of makes it a skinny window. Go ahead and take your little, you know, your little hitch route basically um, right then and there. So basically just pick it on the sand, you know. If you don't like it, uh, obviously create. If you want to take this whole shot, I don't recommend it. It's a far throw. That's another option. And obviously I preach a lot to uh, go to your tag route on the backside. Um, obviously, you know, it's basically two up versus one over there. Um, it's not there. Um, don't force a tag route when, uh, when it's double covered basically. So, you know, go to the field, there's a lot more space. So this is a good like quick play to get to versus coverage. I'm gonna get into a deeper intermediate type concept real quick. And you know it's one take G. So I got an intermediate type concept. Um, you know, take this backside if it's free. Obviously, it's not free. Um, within this concept, you want to pick on the mic. We have the mic. Um, we're picking on the mic. If he drops into his Tampa coverage like he's supposed to, go ahead and take this quick because this Sam is dropping to his hook curl zone. Um, give it to your H right away. Um, let it let them try to you know get up the seam, find a seam, and uh, get some more yards after the catch. If this Mike sees this shallow route coming right at him, and he decides to attack it, go ahead, be patient. There's going to be a big, big window right behind him. Um, that was, that tight end is have to be super smart and understanding not to overrun it. If there's a big window, he can go ahead and give the quarterback his chest and make it an easy throw for him. Um, only like post if it's cover four we'll get to that next week um, so yeah at the end of the day if you see this coverage you know stay the course be patient don't force it take care of the football um, go ahead and dink and dump downfield and score touchdowns in the red zone that's going to be key um, you know that's what it is this is cover two um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week for cover four. We gone.